Prosecutors have now responded to three motions filed by January 6th suspects, Deborah and Salvador Sandoval. Their defense teams want the Des Moines area mother and son to be tried separately because they didn't go to the U.S. Capitol building together that day. But prosecutors say they both took part in the same acts and they have photos of them together taken on January 6th. Prosecutors also say the Sandovals can get a fair trial in Washington, D.C., despite a request to move the trial to Des Moines. The defense also wants to keep some evidence private, like video showing violence and a photo of Deborah Sandoval with the Proud Boys. But federal prosecutors say the evidence is relevant. A judge has not yet ruled on any of these three motions. Doug Jensen, meanwhile, is also asking for several changes to his January 6th attack case. He's a Des Moines man seated at the front of the pack inside the U.S. Capitol building. Jensen's defense filed motions saying he can't get a fair and impartial jury in Washington, D.C. Jensen also wants his first interview with the FBI suppressed because he says he was illegally detained, sleep deprived, and it wasn't voluntary. He also wants his obstruction of law enforcement during a civil disorder charge dropped. Prosecutors haven't responded to these motions yet. At the 